In this video, I'll show you how to build and run the React app we created in the last video using help from the ChatGPT. So let's get started. We can use the Docker file generated by ChatGPT to build and run the React app, but I want to make some modifications to it. The current Docker file has two stages, one for building and the other for generating the production image. I would like to update it to include a third stage for development which will differ slightly from the build stage. In addition to adding the development stage to the Docker file, I also want to update the container command for that stage, the development stage, to be yarn start instead of the nginx startup command used in the production stage. So let's ask the chat GPT if it can make that change. The ask is, in multi-stage, add a stage for development that runs yarn start. So it generated a new Docker file with some changes. And the updated Docker file has three stages. This looks good to me. I think we can work with this. I'm going to copy this code and create a Docker file inside our code directory. And here is the Docker file with the code from ChatGPT. Let's remove all the extra line spaces. This Docker file that is generated by the ChatGPT looks more organized and it is easy to read with these three stages one for development, which we are going to use in the development stage or environment in our local setup. And the build and production stages are to build an image for production. The build stage is essentially an intermediate step for the production stage. This may be too much of information for you if you are not familiar with the multi-stage Docker build. If you are interested in learning more about multi-stage build in Docker, check out the links provided in the notes. I want to make one more change here. In the development stage, let's remove the copy command. It is not necessary in a development environment as it copies all the code to the container image. Instead, during development, I want to use the mount feature of Docker to connect the current project directory to the container's work directory so that I can see the changes as I make the code change. So if you're familiar with running a React app or any Node applications or any application for that matter, you want to be able to see the code changes reflect on the web interface without having to restart, rebuild uh, in development mode. Rebuilding will be super inefficient. So now that the Docker file is ready, let's move on to building and running it. I could use the Docker build and Docker run commands as generated by the chat GPT, but I would prefer to use the Docker compose. So let's ask chat GPT if it can generate Docker compose file for us. Add Docker compose. Now here is the docker compose file that it generated for us and also includes the command to run the app which is docker compose up. I'm going to copy the stuff from docker compose and make a new docker compose file at the root of the code directory. Also I'm going to make a couple of changes to it. The first change that I want to make is to the volume mount. As I explained before I want to connect my host machine code directory to the containers work directory which is the forward slash app. This is necessary because I previously removed the copy command that would have otherwise copied the code into the forward slash app directory on the container image. The second change that I want to make is the command used to run the service inside the container. The docker file already specifies the default command for the development image so it's not necessary to include it again in the docker compose file for the service. You can add it in the compose file as well, so it doesn't hurt. So I want to remove it from here to avoid any unnecessary code. Now that there are multiple stages in the Docker file, we want to use a specific stage that is dev for building out the image for local development. Let's ask ChatGPT to update the compose file. Use the stage dev as the target for the app service in Docker Compose. ChatGPT made the changes to the Docker Compose file. Interestingly, this time it did not regenerate all the instructions. Instead, it printed only the changes that are specific to Docker Compose. This response is better, I think, and it is short. We don't have to scroll too much to follow the instructions. Now let's update the Docker Compose file to set the build target as dev. Looks like you're all set to build the Docker image for the target. Let's give it a try. Command is Docker Compose build and it failed as there was no build context provided in the docker compose file. I think this was the first error in the code that ChatGPT generated. It's an easy fix so let's not worry about asking ChatGPT. I'll fix it myself. 
the build context is the current directory or the React apps code directory, this one. Or in other words, the directory where the Docker file is located. With that change, let's try to build again. Docker Compose build. Looks like it is building without any errors this time and is complete now. Time to run the application as container using Docker Compose. The command is docker compose up. Now it failed to start the application inside the container. The reason here looks like missing files in the working directory. The issue is very clear is that inside the container it doesn't have the code even though we mounted the volume of the current directory or it appears that it is not using slash app as the working directory inside the container. Now that is because we haven't mentioned that anywhere. I think this is the second error in the chat GPT generated instructions or the code so far. So which is no big deal. So we know how to fix it. We can ask chat GPT or we can make the change ourselves. Now there are two ways to go about fixing this. We can mention the work directory either in the Docker Compose service definition for app service or in the Docker file for the dev stage. Let's go with the Docker file route. Create a directory slash app make it the work directory and we can also make this change to the build stage. This may not be necessary but keeps it consistent. Also note that the stage build in the docker file will not be used when we build docker image for our dev stage. The build stage and the prod stage are going to be used when we build an image for the production. The docker file change is good and with that change we have to build an image again before running the container. Docker compose build the docker compose build or the docker build is complete. Now let's run the application container one more time. Docker compose up. This time it failed for a different reason. The error here indicates that it requires a package web vitals installed. That looks like the development stage package. We can ask chat GPT to help us with adding this package to our application. But instead let me do it myself. I'm going to spin up a container for app service and shell into it to add web vitals package using yarn. The command to shell into the container is docker compose run with some options, the service name app from docker compose file and the command to run inside the container is shell. So basically we want the shell prompt. So we are on the shell prompt and inside the container let's run the yarn command to add the package web vitals. That is complete. Verify that it updated the package JSON and here is the web vitals package added under the development dependency section. I was able to add the required package quickly but if I were to ask ChatGPT for help, here is how the ChatGPT conversation would look like. I tell ChatGPT that I get an error when trying to run the app built with the docker file. ChatGPT tells me to add the package using this yarn command and gives some more details. But we want to run it inside the container because we don't have node or yarn installed on the host machine and ChatGPT says it can be done and gives a command example using docker but not docker compose. So we are going to be using docker compose so when I asked if we used docker compose instead of docker now it gives a docker compose command to run a new container and it has the yarn command to add the web vitals package. That's pretty much what we did. The only difference is that we ran this in two steps the first to shell into the container and then to run the yarn add command inside that container. Now let's exit out of the shell and try to run the application again. Docker compose up and now it looks good. The dev server is running and the app is listening at port 3000 that is inside the container and also we have that port mapped to 3000 on the host as well in the docker compose service definition. With that I should be able to hit the service at localhost colon 3000. Let's do that. The Hello GPT React app is up and running and it works. I'm going to make a quick change to its app.js file to change text and see if that change reflects without needing to rebuild the container image or restart. Change the text to Hello Chat GPT and save. Now go back to the browser which seemed to have auto refreshed the page and here is the change. That's cool. All good so far. Thanks to ChatGPT, we were able to create and run a React app using Docker and Docker Compose without much effort. I hope you're liking it so far. Stick around for the next part where I'll show you how to build a deployable image that packages this React app inside an Nginx image and test it locally using Docker Compose.
Thanks for watching.